You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Looking for the antidote to a stressful day? This episode of Barn Stories reminds us that inner peace is often found while wielding a manure fork. Welcome to the Barn Stories podcast. I'm Lori Prince, editor of Equus Magazine. And I'm managing editor Christine Barakat. This podcast features our favorite essays and articles published in Equus over the past 40 years. Although Equus is known for articles on horse care and veterinary research, our editorial mission has always been guided by the bond that exists between horses and people. And each issue has featured a real life story that celebrates how horses enrich our lives and touch our hearts. We've searched our archives, chosen the stories that resonated with our readers, and given them new life in this audio format. Longtime subscribers may recognize some of their favorite pieces. And if you're new to the Equus community, these stories will confirm that no matter what sort of saddle you sit in, a deep emotional connection to horses is something we all share. The essay in this episode was written by longtime Equus staffer Joe Mazzoli. In addition to being an accomplished horsewoman and wonderful co-worker, Joe is a fabulous writer. In this essay, she describes the welcome solitude of cleaning stalls after a busy day in a way that makes you feel as if you're with her at her barn on an early summer evening. There's something profoundly centering about stall cleaning. It's a chore, but one that transcends the job at hand to provide peace in the moment. Maybe it's the same reason some guys really enjoy mowing their lawn. As you mentioned, what makes this essay work so well are Joe's descriptions. From the cat sauntering down the aisle to the sound of manure hitting the bottom of the wheelbarrow. She's just spot on with all of it. It's almost like a guided meditation for stressed out horse people. So let's listen to Of Solitude and Stall Cleaning, written by Joe Mazzoli and read by Taylor Autumn. My husband and I are currently in survival mode. We have three kids under the age of six, a small farm, and a menagerie that includes four horses, five sheep, five cats, and a border collie. Our days pretty much consist of keeping everyone fed, clothed, and clean, going to work, and starting all over again. The horses split their time between the barn and the pasture, and stall cleaning coincides with the witching hour, about 6 p.m. That's the time of day when everyone's hungry, crabby, or just wound up. The two older kids jockey for attention, brandishing our projects and spreading Legos all over the coffee table. The TV blares, the baby fusses, and my husband Martin and I are frazzled. If you want to chill out, I'll do the barn, Martin offers, as though staying inside is the relaxing option. No, I'll do the barn, I counter. The stalls are really bad. Really, I don't mind, he says. You cleaned the stalls last night. We do a few more rounds of this before we drop the niceties. Please, I finally plead. I had a grueling day. Let me muck tonight. I'll change the baby and take out the trash. All right, you win, he says, wading through toys toward the kitchen. I'll start dinner. For first-time horse owners and new riders just starting out, finding the information and support you need can be challenging. That's why Equine Network has partnered with Sentinel and Absorbing to bring you My New Horse, a place where equestrians just getting into horse ownership or riding will find the resources and community they need at precisely their stage of the equine journey. From important horse keeping information and how-to videos to social media communities, exclusive experiences, and more, My New Horse is your one-stop shop for riders of all levels and disciplines who are eager to find easy to understand horse care information and guidance. Start your horse ownership journey today visit mynewhorse.com. The barn is indeed a mess. One of the horses has a tendency to trash his stall, but mucking is a peaceful task. 20 minutes of guaranteed solitude as I fork piles of manures in the wheelbarrow with a muted whomp. It's mindless, methodical work, and I think about the office, vacation plans, and a dinner party as I restore order blanketing each stall in clean shavings. The crickets tune up in the eaves, and occasionally a grazing horse clears his nose with a sharp snort. But otherwise, it's quiet until one of the barn cats saunters in. He struts down the center aisle, swishing his tail, 
and an army of irate barn swallows chirp an alarm and swoop down. The chicks, too young to fly, peek their heads from the nests high above and survey the cat's retreat. Maisie, our border collie, keeps me company, periodically spitting a tennis ball into the corner of each stall as I clean. Then she crouches and fixes me with a stare that's impossible to ignore. The ball has suffered a run-in with the lawnmower and is badly frayed, but Maisie is undeterred. I nudge the ball and she darts to snatch it up and spit it out all over again. Once the stalls are picked clean, I roll the laden wheelbarrow outside and dump it on the growing manure pile behind the barn. The sun has nearly slipped out of sight and a thunderstorm creeps our way but none of the animals seem to mind. The horses are fanned out in the pasture, grazing while the sheep doze in their shed. Mucking has gone too fast, and I consider adding more bedding to the stalls to stretch my escape. But by now, Martin's probably dishing up the food. So I toss a flake of hay in each stall, top off the water buckets, sweep the aisle, and measure out the morning feed. Then, with a final glance to confirm that everything's in order, I hang up the pitchfork and head back again to the house to face the chaos once more. Thanks for listening to Barn Stories. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have a favorite article or essay from the Equus Archives that you'd like us to feature in a future podcast, let us know. You can reach us at equusbarnstories, all one word, at gmail.com. Did you enjoy this episode of Barn Stories? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening. The Barn Stories podcast is a production of the Equine Podcast Network, an entity of the Equine Network.